And this brand I'm going to talk about now is Nabla. This is one of my most favorite brand among these 11 brands. I, I bought quite a few of their products. Starting with this, this is their Dreamy Creamy Liquid Lipsticks. It has a thick creamy texture, the pigmentation of a lipsticks, and the glossy effect of a lip gloss. But be careful when there's a big wing because if your hair touch your lips and then you accidentally remove your hair from the lips, it may leave a streak mark. It feels heavy on the lips but surprisingly it's not sticky and when you apply this on the lips initially there will be a cooling feel. It has a strong scent of some berry, I think blackberry and it will linger on the lips but nevertheless I am very tempted to get another one, the pink one within the same collection or is it within the same? Oh this was released. These are the Skin Glazing Highlighter. I bought this Amnesia first, this is a champagne highlighter which I also have it on the cheeks right now. See the glow? I like the formula and the look. That's why I bought this Privilege. This is a champagne with a peach dual chrome. I love that it looks natural yet not natural. When it applies onto the skin, it looks very translucent and yet it's reflective and kind of wet. So that's why I say it's natural yet not natural. It doesn't emphasize on my pores and my texture and this is one of my most favorite highlighter in 2019. Anyway, for Nabla's products, all their products are vegan and also cruelty free. I love Nabla's eyeshadow formula and I bought four of them. <laughs> this is the QT palette. Coral and orange and pink. Not orange, pink. The Soul Blooming. This is great for springtime. And this is Secret Palette. Very beautiful packaging, yeah. And this will be great for autumn. And this is our latest palette, Dreamy 2. Great for winter. <laughs> As you can see from the color story, and it's more sparkling than the rest. I like that they include a few formulas in their palettes and they name their formulas quite differently from the other companies. Like, they name the matte as Super Matte, the Foid formula as Metallic Foid, and Press Shimmer's formula as Crystals. Like this color in the Soul Blooming palette, this is Honey Drip, and this Play Hard in the Secret palette. It is something like the Love Lux Beauty Bolestrous Shimmers, but this is more refined, more creamy, and more classy looking. And this is so much neater, it doesn't have any fallout. And for this cutie palette, this color Mandarin, it feels a little like the ColourPop Super Short Eyeshadow. A little bouncy but not so bouncy. This will be great as a topper, this is a sheer color. And for their Dreamy 2 eyeshadow palettes, which is their latest palette, they included a few more new formulas. They call it the Super Sparkles, which is this color, Ram and Lipatine. In the pan, it looks like a pressed glitters, but these are very very finely milled pressed glitters. I'm not even sure whether they are pressed glitters. They are so much smoother and so much more finely milled than the ColourPop pressed glitters. This color and this, they are labeled as latex matte. In the pan, it looks more textured, but it's actually very moist and very creamy to the touch. I enjoy the formulas for the products I bought from Nabla. And will I buy them again? Definitely yes! Next is an Asia brand and this is Pony Effect. Pony is a very famous beauty YouTuber. She's quite huge and she's also a very famous Korean makeup artist. Last year, she did a lot of collaboration with companies like Etto House, MAC and Colourpop. This is the Pretty. I heard comments that this Pretty is a brand of hers but I didn't hear of that. I know she owns Pony Effect, this is her brand, but I really did not hear BT as her brand. I wanted to try her liquid foundation as well as the cushion foundation. Unfortunately, their darkest color cannot match to my skin tone. <laughs> I think for Asian brands, we have very limited skin color choices. I was also testing out her eyeshadow palettes. I like the color story, but not their formula because for Korean brands, 
they are not known for their pigmentation. You need to build up a lot of layers to show that color. So in the end, I only got this. This is the shaping definer, the eyebrow pencil. I finished up so you can't see any of them. So it comes with a tiny little brush over here. Spoolie, not brush, spoolie. And then the eyebrow pencil. I find that the formula is a little hard formula and I like the color, it matches my hair. But when I buy this again, yes, I enjoy the formula at the same time. Maybe when there's promotion or discount, then I will buy this. At the same time, recently I very into ColourPop Precision Brown Pencil. It's much cheaper than this and lasted me longer than this. I only used this for about two weeks and I finished up everything. So I bought this eyebrow pencil from Q10. At the same time, I also ordered this eyeshadow quartz. First, when I saw the packaging and the labels from the website, I thought that this is Pony Effect eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow quartz. But it's not. It's actually a collaboration between Pony and Miu Miu Box. Miu Miu Box is another Korean brand. While Pony Effect is cruelty free, I do not know whether Miu Miu Box is cruelty free or not. I bought this by mistake. But this is a very lovely pink quartz. When I posted this on my Instagram last year, my friend was commenting that this looked like the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. It has this matte with shimmer and two metallic and one setting. But again, the pigmentation wasn't that great, so I just use once or twice and then just pick one side. So in short, when they have new products, I would like to explore more from Pony's Effect. The ninth brand. This is a brand by a beauty YouTuber called Total Makeup Junkie. Her name is Ishani. She came out with this sparkling lipsticks two years ago. All the lipsticks are filled with sparkles, with glitters, but they are very very finely milled. When I purse and rub the lips, like this, I don't feel the glitters at all. There are a total of six colors, and all six have different scent. All their scent are very light, and it doesn't linger on the lips. So I'll just show the colors to you. This is Tattoo. It's a universal pink nude tone with a pink shimmer. It comes with a caramel scent. Very very light. And this is Binti. This is a red with gold and pink shimmer. It has a strawberry and cream scent. And this is what I apply on the lips now. This is Lassi. Lassi is an Indian drink. By the way, she's an Indian. As you can see, her packaging is very exotic. These are the henna drawings, flowers. And Rani in Indian or Hindi means queen, if I'm not wrong. Please pardon me if I'm wrong and correct me. Thank you. Okay, this is Lassi. This is a red orange color with a gold and pink shimmer. It has a very light mango scent. Smell nice. And again, it doesn't linger on the lips. And this is syrup. This is fuchsia pink with gold and pink shimmers. And it has a rose scent. Yeah, a very light rose scent. Smell nice. And they also come out with this liquid lipsticks to match up. They are sparkling lips, like this is Tattoo. The matching liquid lipstick will be Henna. Actually, they are the same color with the same scent. This smell of caramel too. So actually, she advised that if we want to have a better coverage and more long lasting, you can always combine these two layers. Applying this sparkling lipstick first, then top up with this liquid lips. Anyway, when I apply this liquid lipsticks alone, 
it's not drying and in fact my lips feel comfortable because I really don't like matte liquid lipsticks but I'm enjoying this if you are able to see me closer you can actually see that due to the shimmers my lipsticks actually looks quite metallic it has a tint of gold so to me although I'm not very much into lip products that has glitters or shimmers I find that this is quite unique, something that I do not have in my collection and I was very attracted by these sparkling lipsticks because of the photos. In their photos, the lips look so creamy and lustrous so that's why I was attracted by it and I don't mind the glitters. And I think earlier last year or mid last year, she released this eyeshadow palette that is the Shattered Gems eyeshadow palette. It's a 12 pen eyeshadow palette. Is that tongue twisting? There is a mix of formula like matte, metallic, and diamond formula. So for their mattes, they have six mattes over here. It's all so soft and smooth and very intense color payoff. But for darker matte like Onyx and Lapis, this can be slightly patchy. So you need to build up the layers. And for their metallic, it's alright, it's good, okay, but their diamond formula, very intense, very soft. These diamond formula are like the Huda Beauty New Nude Press Shimmers, also something like the Love Last Beauty Opalestrous Shimmers, yeah, Opalestrous Shimmers. But these are so much densely packed together and it doesn't fall out, so neat. I prefer this gemstone eyeshadow palettes than the other one which is the collaboration between Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. This is the Soul Jaded palette. And I just feel that they just pluck some of their existing colours from each palette and just dump into this one palette. So if you dears have a lot of Colourpop eyeshadow palettes, you can skip this. And that's why I feel that in terms of the thinking process and the color selection, I would prefer and appreciate more of this Rani Cosmetic Shattered Gems. The free international shipping amount for Rani Cosmetic is 125 USD. And that's why 2 years ago, although I'm very attracted by their sparkling lipsticks, I did not buy them because I do not want the whole 6 colors and I'm not interested in liquid lipsticks. The shipping cost is a little too expensive. But I understand that for small brands, usually the shipping cost will be expensive. So in short, will I buy them again? Most likely, yes. But I just want to buy more products in one purchase. So as to fully utilize the shipping cost. The last second brand is from Sydney Grace. I was very interested in their No Joke eyeshadow bundle. That was inspired after the Tarte April Fool Joke eyeshadow mock up. But it's always out of stock, I couldn't get this. So instead, I got this a 13 color eyeshadow bundle. This is their winter bundle, and also I top up with a secret eyeshadow, which is a mint green. I always like mint green, rose gold, rose pink, and deep royal purple. I think they are not selling this anymore, as well as the no joke bundle. I only used this a few times, but so far, I'm enjoying their quality very well. They are very silky smooth and I'm wearing actually this dark brown over at the outer corner and this is pigmented, very pigmented compared to some of the dark matte with Colourpop matte and this green over at the inner corners and also under the eyebrow bone In fact, for this eye makeup look, I'm using all the eyeshadows from this 11 brands which I forgot to share with you this just now Mattes are good, shimmers are fabulous for Cine Grace, they are using Silk Mica instead of the normal Mica because Silk Mica is whiter, is more silkier, smoother but it's also more expensive than the normal Mica so I think they really go for quality but the shipping cost for Cine Grace is very very expensive it's 22 USD so expensive! I enjoy the quality in the future when there's any interesting release there's a high chance I may get it. 
but let me gather more products for one purchase because the shipping is really very expensive and I hope one day maybe just one day they can go to Beauty Bay where I can save on the international shipping after a gazillion years finally we reached to the last brand and that will be Zoeva <laughs> yeah Z is the last alphabet this is my first product I bought from them which is the eyeshadow palette Spice of Life this is my color vibe it has red it has some bronze color it has some gold pink and the naturals unfortunately I am not really enjoying this neither do I not enjoying this it is an alright palette so so performance doesn't go wrong but not so bright so I only use it for about two to three times only and the second product I got from them was this their authentic skin foundation and I'm using the foundation now so when this was released a lot of people was comparing this Zoeva with their ABH luminous skin foundation I would prefer the ABH more because it gives me a more natural look and the main reason is I find that for this Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation, it has a much higher coverage than this ABH. I'm a person who do not like a very high coverage foundation. I just like the very natural skin look. Because I find that for high coverage foundation, it will emphasize my texture and make my skin look more flawed than flawless. And that defeats the purpose of applying foundation, isn't it? So in the past, I keep using this foundation with one full palm. I do not know what comes to me today and I also don't understand why I'm so slow in thinking. I just palm half a palm today and immediately it tilted towards to my preference. It looks much more natural and more luminous but still I still prefer the ABH. So today I filmed two videos already and, and the timing now is coming to 10 p.m. It has been a long day I wore this foundation. So as you guys probably can see the nose area here, I've oily T-zone. So this part here starts to be oily again. I already touched up with setting powders to mattify it because I'm doing firming. Usually I don't do any touch up of powders. So on my usual days when I use this foundation, by the end of the day, my nose area will become an oil feel. Very oily. And also I realized it oxidized now. So I don't know. I just find that again a so-so product for its price, but I naturally will stay away from this. The third product I bought is a brush. This is 108 Face Finish Powder Brush. To me, this is a very interesting brush. I bought this because my powder brush was broken. Flat yet fluffy. This is round yet tapered. So the way I'm using this is I will apply powder on one side of the brush and then just gently pat onto the skin, fluff it all out and then just blend onto the skin. And I find that among the three products, I'm enjoying this brush more than the other two. So in short, Zoeva to me right now is a so-so brand. I may still keep a lookout for new products. That's all for the sharing today, finally. I hope that this video can help you out to decide which brands you want to try this year. Question of the day, is there any brands that you'd like to test out from these 11 brands? If yes, please state in the comment section below, yeah? Thank you so much. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Strive for integrity. Know your values in life and behave in a way that is consistent in these values. It has been 3 hours I'm doing filming for this video and it is 10pm now. I haven't had dinner. So hungry now. So thank you so much for watching dears. If you like this video, please help me to like, comment and subscribe. This will help me to boost up the ranking in YouTube and also to encourage me to make more videos. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!